Hey guys, what is going on? Hayden here. I'm trying. Before I get started, I'm trying out a new camera angle. Tell me what you guys think about it. I don't have it rigged up on my computer anymore. I have it on its own separate little stand. Um, but yeah, something has been eating at me and a lot of people on the internet um, since the Nintendo Switch was revealed this morning. I keep wanting to say NX, but it's about Splatoon. The footage that they showed, albeit very little, has torn fans. Is it a sequel? Or is it a port? I think it's a sequel, and here's why. First of all, let's look at the Inklings themselves. Um, they almost look older, or edgier, for lack of a better word. Almost like maybe a year or two older. And the developers have even said before that they wanted the Splatoon characters to look like they were about 14 years old. And if they are older, they do look maybe only a year or two older. And if this is the 2017 release, that would make sense, if Nintendo was going for any sort of chronology in this game. I mean, the, the story mode in the original Splatoon was great, but we didn't really get much history on the Inklings, you know? What's their life expectancy? How old can they be? I think there's a lot of things that they could do with um, the Inklings, and maybe this is something that they want to do um, with the Inklings, is just show them maybe a little bit older. Um, I don't think that they would make the Inklings look older, if it's just going to be an HD port of the game. But, at the same time, it might just be a design choice. Who really knows? While I'm looking at this, check out the spawn point that they're on. It's very different from the original. Now, in the original Splatoon, it was like a little platform that was raised off the ground, and the entire, like, inner circle of it was the, the color of your cir of the color of your team, sorry. This doesn't look like that. It looks like it's almost like a Wi-Fi signal, but like an entire signal, or an entire circle, where it's just like a circle, and then a bigger circle, and then a bigger circle, with gray area in between. Now, it still looks like it could be a platform raised off of the ground, but this doesn't look like an HD remake of the spawning platform. It looks like a complete redesign. Which, I don't think that they would do that if they were just doing a port. I mean, what's the point of that? They want to have some ways to differentiate this from the original Splatoon, if this is actually a sequel. This is a design choice that makes sense in that case. Now again, looking at the Inklings, there's two differences between these Inklings and the last Inklings with their style. And that is that you can customize their hair, and you can customize their pants. You couldn't do either of those in the original Splatoon. And as you guys may recall, each piece of customizable equipment in Splatoon changes their stats, whether it be their fire rate, how much um, ink they can hold, whether how fast they are when they're in squid form. There's a lot of different things that they can change. I feel like adding in two new customizable parts to Splatoon, which has already existed in the way it has for so long, would just throw off the balance of the game. Unless they would, t like, they would have to retweak every single piece of customizable equipment if they wanted to, like, properly integrate two new pieces of customizable equipment, being the pants and the hair. I just don't think it's a change that's worth doing in a port. I think it would be something that they would want to do in a complete sequel, which would could be a selling point of a sequel. I don't know, it just seems like too much of a game changer to me to have two more very big variables in a character's stats. The only changes we've seen to the game so far with uh, DLC is the amount of stages and the amount of weapons, which doesn't really change the mechanics of the game, it just changes the outcomes of the game. So that's kind of what I'm saying. Look at this! We've got a new stage to talk about. Now I know what you might be thinking. Well, they added tons of new stages as DLC in Splatoon, why would this be any different? Why can't they just add this to a, um, a port? Well. I don't think that they want to take away from a potential sequel. You know there's a sequel coming. It's Splatoon. It was a massive hit. It sold better than Smash Brothers did. So we got to have some new ideas for the next game. And what I mean by new ideas is this bridge kind of that the Inkling is walking on. Now there's no support that we can tell underneath this bridge. So if this game is going to function realistically, then that bridge would sag as you walk down it, meaning that you could change kind of the elevation that you're at and possibly avoid enemy, enemy fire as you're walking across it, which is a cool idea. It's simple, but it can definitely shake up the stage mechanics. Now, I know what you might be thinking. 
they've added new stages to DLC before, or as DLC to Splatoon, with ideas such as the conveyor belts and the piranha pit, or the fans in the um, uh, museum, or no, what is it, the, An the Anchor V games or whatever. Um, I really don't think that they're going to want to waste any more time on adding things to a game that's going to be two years old when the NX comes out. I really think that they do need to start thinking about a sequel. I mean, there is going to be a sequel. It's freaking Splatoon. So they're going to need some ideas for a sequel, and this is definitely a good idea as one of them. Now, my last argument, and in my opinion, my biggest argument, is that looking at this stage, there is not a single Miiverse post anywhere. Just a bunch of nondescript advertisements that really don't mean anything. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, maybe they just haven't been able to program it into the game yet. On the other hand, we really haven't heard any confirmation as to the whereabouts of Miiverse as a feature on the Nintendo Switch. Now, say what you want about Miiverse, but Miiverse was huge with the original Splatoon. A lot of players use it, and Miiverse on Splatoon is like one of the biggest Miiverse communities out there. Not personally something that I enjoyed, but hey, a lot of people did. If this is truly a port, they're going to want to put Miiverse into this port. Like, well, that's the thing though. If Miiverse isn't a part of the Nintendo Switch, then they really can't have Miiverse on a Splatoon port because, you know, that just doesn't work. It, like, functionally, that does not work. So that makes me think that not only is this a sequel because a major feature of the last game isn't present, but it could also mean that Miiverse isn't a thing at all with the Nintendo Switch. So what I'm basically saying is a big feature from the previous game is gone, and it's a big enough feature where they would want to port it if this was truly a port. Thanks for watching, guys. I know that this is a pretty divisive topic, so I didn't really want to do a script up. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there, but I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, of course, leave a like, and I want to hear what you guys have to say. Get talking in those freaking comments down below, all right? There's plenty of arguments to be made as to why this could be a port and not a sequel. I'm willing to be convinced, but just talk to me, all right? This is my standpoint on the matter. Let's hear you guys' do you agree, do you disagree? Get talking. And if you want to see more Nintendo goodness like this, like discussions, updates, reactions, all that stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I also have Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. There's a link for that in the description as well. Take care, guys. See you later. Peace out.